Hello everybody, we are talking today about Socrates, Philosophy 101 class, and the first lesson of philosophy is about Socrates. Socrates lived about 400 BC and uh, around that area at the time, and uh, he was the teacher of Plato, the mentor of Plato, and Plato was the mentor of Burum. The Plato was the mentor of Aristotle. And so, when we talk about Socrates, we talk about uh, the father of ethics. As the father of ethics, he said, uh, uh, he was the father of ethics uh, at the time, was considered the father of ethics because he was hemlocked in Greece uh, and he didn't destroy the youth. He said the youth is going haywire, they need to come down, calm down, and they need to better behave and everything else. But they have locked him, they poisoned him, etc., etc. So anyhow, he says where inductive thinking and deductive thinking come together, when theory and practice come together, that's, that's true, that's principle. And that's what we have to learn when uh, the principle is learned, the principle is taught, or is learned as well, when theory and practice come together, theory from above and practice from below, they come together, that's, that's a principle, that's truth. Uh, this is seen in Raffaello's picture on the wall uh, on Sistine Chapel, uh, uh, School of Athens, uh, School of Athens, where Plato goes and points the finger up and says that the theory of chairness or the chair comes from the theory of a chair, from the ideas, life comes from ideas, where Aristotle says well, life comes from observation, points down at a beggar, and life comes from observation. And the truth is that the, the, both knowledges are available and they're very important, theory and practice. When theory and practice come together, that's where the principle is found and is discovered. So this is important. Inductive and deductive thinking. Inductive thinking comes from the general theory to the details and the steps. And deductive th theory is deductive from, from specifics to the general theory. So now what we need to know also is that uh, this uh, Socrates was a man of uh, ethics because he tried to point uh, to the youth of Athens that uh, they needed to be more regular, they needed to be better, they needed to behave better, they needed not to go haywire, they needed to better behave. And so this is also a biblical basis because, you know, the children need to obey parents and uh, by obedience to parents, they uh, get a, a promise, a promise of better life or long, longer life. If you honor your father and mother, this, this is in Exodus uh, 20, this is uh, the number five, number four, number five, number five rule, number five, uh, number five uh, rule out of ten commandments, number five commandment. It says, honor your father and mother that you may have a long life on earth. It's promise. It's, uh, it's uh, the only commandment with a promise that says if you honor your father and mother then you shall have a long life on earth a longer life on earth by honoring them uh, so uh, it's also mentioned in the new testament the same thing christ mentioned it as well to honor and then it says to the fathers do not exasperate the fathers do not exasperate the children exasperate means do not provoke your children do not push them into into anger and do, do not push them into provocation uh, so parents need also to be careful with their children to better train them and everything else. The proverb says, train up a child in the way he should go, and uh, when he grows up he will not forget you, you, the ways you have taught him. So we have to train up the children in the way he should go, and uh, so they don't forget when they grow up how to respect and honor themselves, to honor their parents, to honor their family, to honor their grandparents, etc. Ephesians 5 actually is very good it's, uh, when it talks about uh, the roles in the family, the parents and the children and how they need to behave with each other and how to treat people in the church. You know, it says uh, treat the, the older men like, uh, like uh, fathers, older women like mothers, treat the younger girls like sisters, treat the younger boys like brothers. So in a way uh, the church is a family like a family unit, it's run like a family unit. Now, all these things that I mentioned about inductive thinking and deductive thinking, when they meet, they interlock, and you find a principle, you find theory, you find the true principles, the truths, the small truths, that point to the ultimate truth, the absolute truth, which is the himself Christ and Christ alone. Uh, I'll mention a little bit in Albania because time is running out. 
Teoria e Sokrati. Sokrati është një filozofët babaj e etikës shuhet, e cili tha që aty ku bashkohet teoria me praktikën, aty gjënë e principi e vërteta. Pra quet inductive thinking, mendimi induktiv dhe mendimi deduktiv. Të dy mendimet bashkë. Ky është shumë e rëndësishme për të kuptuar të vërtetat, aty gjëndet e vërteta, ose principi, ose principet e vogla të vërtetat që a, ultimatisht, në përfundimisht, tregojnë të vërtetën absolute që është Krishti, që është Krishti edhe që është Biblia vetë, si e vërtet absolute. Me gjitha të, për më shumë informacion, një lutëm më kontaktoni. Gjithë mjërë, më përpapshëm nga themelusi i Fondacionin Gjersh Kastrioti dhe gjithashtu i njërës i Fondacionin Jezu Krisht, Jesus Christ Foundation, the founder and, uh, and the, the founder and the president of Jesus Christ Foundation, together with the co-founder of Jesus Christ Foundation, Sonida Haidini. Mërëpapshëm. Co-founder and vice president, and my dad. Mërëpapshëm. Ciao. Bye-bye.